Hey guys, uh, welcome to a browser game called Socrates Jones Pro Philosopher. I don't know much about it other than it's basically uh, Phoenix Wright except you're a philosopher. Prologue, one New York morning. So maybe the first time my game isn't loud enough in my opinion. Morning, Ari. Ready for school? Socrates. <laughs> We're talking. Guess what? We're talking about John Stuart Mill in class today. I don't know who that is. Who? He doesn't know who that is. You're kidding, right? John Stuart Mill. I don't need to do voices. You can see the chat. Oh wait, I think I know. He's a comedian, right? Ah, uh, comedian John Stuart. Moral philosopher. Utilitarianism. Oh, that reminds me, you guys might be thinking to yourselves, Lon, your incredibly sexy voice is slightly less or more sexy right now. That's because I'm sick as hell. Which is the reason it's been so long since I, uh, since I uploaded the video. Massive two days. Uh, and also why, uh, I've been too lazy to download a real game and I'm playing some kind of visual novel in uh, through my browser. This actually looks kind of fun though, or funny at least. I see. Apparently, this dude opened up her eyes to a new way to view the world. Socrates is underwhelmed by the looks of things. Dad? Oh wow, that's the dad? I thought he was like a uni student or something. Did she hit him? Was it just yelling? Dad! What? Huh? Were you paying attention to anything I just said? Uh... Oh, someone's at the door. You can tell me about it later, okay? Okay, this guy's a worse parent than fucking Addy. School in half an hour. My name is Socrates Jones. Everyone in my family seems to care about philosophy, but I can never really get into it. I'm just an accountant, after all. Why should I care about the nature of right and wrong? I want to blow my nose, but I don't want to stop recording. Billy. Well, hey there. Billy is clearly the sussest dude I've ever seen in my life. Uh, hi. Billy the salesman. He's traveling, traveling this country selling my wares and saw your shabby apartment instantly knew. There lives a man who appreciates a good deal. Excuse me? How would you like to hear about the fabulous bargains I have for you today? I know I said I wasn't going to do the voice, but I mean, what am I going to do? I'm going to read it out loud, so, you know, whatever. Ari, Ari, Ari? Whatever. Ari? Ah! What are you doing here? I got bored. Go back to school! But I just left. Doesn't mean I can't be bored. Who's this guy? He's some scumbag. I'm glad you asked, little lady. The name's Billy. Billy the Salesman. Who says Billy the Sales... Uh, uh, yes, listen, Billy. I'm sorry, but I really don't... I think we should hear him out. What? If you don't bother to at least listen, you aren't gonna get anywhere. Thank you, miss. You won't regret it. Pretty sure I will. Okay, Billy. Let's see what, you have, what you've got. Right. Presentation. I have a great product for you. Uh-huh. Presentation. Buy my product. Slight cutoff, but uh, no matter which way I scroll, there's a slight cutoff. It's the best there is. I choose to do a slight cutoff at the top of the screen. You need my product to do what it does. You don't want those pests around. And that's what I've got for, uh, for y'all. But you hardly told me anything. Horse feathers! I told you my product was the best, didn't I? What more do you need to know? Ariadne? Ariadne? That's not a name. At least not a modern English one. This is all your fault. You didn't tell me anything. What do I do? Be assertive, tell him to fuck off. <coughs> well, generally one goes about getting more information by asking questions. In this case, it's probably most appropriate to ask for clarification. This is a tutorial, clearly. If you can clear up any vagueness surrounding his ideas, you'll be in a much better position to deal with them. Right. Okay, then. Because I'm not an adult who could have thought of this but himself. Good, most arguments are made out of multiple statements. Be sure to check them all for anything that seems vague. So what do you think, partner? Are you buying? Actually, can I hear your pitch again? Sure thing, partner. Ask for clarification option added. Yes! I'm gonna clarify the shit out of this stuff. 
And a really great product for you. Question. Ask for clarification. What kind of product would that be exactly? Billy's Deer Repellent. Oh, okay. That wasn't so hard. Statement updated. This is literally Phoenix right. The product I've got here is Billy's Deer Repellent. It's the best there is. Ask for clarification. And what do you mean by that? It's the best. It's better than the rest. It's really good at doing what it does, partner. Right. I guess this is clarifying this bit of sales speak. It's the best there is. You need my product to do what it does. No, I don't. You don't want those pests around. Nope. Well, there it is again. It's pitch. Still not making a whole lot of sense. Yes, it is. It's deer repellent. Whoops. Guess I should give it another look. Ah! Yep, deer repellent. It's the best there is. You need my product to do what it does. Why is that? Uh, what does it do exactly? It repels deers! And then protects you from danger. The danger of deer. And trust me, you can use all the protection you can get from deer? Statement updated. Well, this argument is much clearer now. Maybe I do need his deer repellent after. You live in an apartment building! Are you serious? What? Am I wrong? Dad, you can't just let an argument go unexamined no matter how clearly stated. Especially when someone is trying to talk you into buying deer repellent. Agreed. But I'm going to clarify all of a sudden. What else is it? Fucking tutorial. Come on, Dad. In a situation like this, if something seems a bit sh to be on this blah, 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 blah. Make sure you can support his statements with f f foundational ideas. Uh, hello? I'm still here. Right. Sorry. Can I hear your pitch again? Again? Well, okay. Press 4. Backing option added. Question. Press for backing. What evidence do you have to support that, that statement? You see the bottles in my bag? Yes. They say Billy's Dare of Deer be Repellent on them. Seems legit. I think it's safe to say that's the name of the product, don't you? Ah, uh, okay. Product code here is Billy's Deer Repellent. It's the best there is. Press for backing. Can you back that statement up? Sure thing, partner. My product does everything better than com competing products. Therefore, it's by definition the best. There are competing products? <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Well, no. But that means that, without a doubt, mine's the best. It's true. Maybe I should call it Billy's Best Deer Repellent. Uh huh. It's the best there is. You need my product to protect you from the danger of deer. Why? Can you back that up? Well, you never know when a deer will attack. And if you don't have my product, you'll be in quite a predicament, partner. Better to be safe than sorry. Like they tell us in health class, always use protection. Why are you agreeing to this? You live in an apartment building. Well, your teachers are right. Protection is always good. <laughs> a sex joke. Hold on. I'm not sure I buy this. We're talking about deer, right? That's right. As in Bambi. Well, uh, yeah, I guess, partner. I see. Are you really trying to tell me that Bambi poses a threat to my well-being? That's going to take quite a bit of convincing. Bambi is dangerous, partner. He may look cute, but that deer is a little monster. Did you see his face change? Let me tell you why that deer is a menace to our society. Alright, you do that. They eat our crops. They steal our jobs. What? The, what, the job of being venison? Every year they cause accidents and injuries. That is actually true. I assume I don't live in a country that has deer. You know until, uh... The, like, hoofed animals have only existed in Australia for 200 years. Like, any hoofed animal at all. Before the British came here, there were no hoofed animals in Australia. Why, the only reason you're safe is that, <laughs> is that I'm here with my repellent. And there we go. As you can see, those darn deer threaten our very way of life. Hmm, a threat, huh? I'm not sure if everything you said here is true. You know, Dad, in a debate, you can do more than just ask questions. In fact, sometimes that just won't cut it. Oh? Sometimes, you may need to challenge your opponent with a counterpoint! I'm sorry for your burden, Ari. It must be really difficult to deal with a dad who has AUTISM! Uh, some fact or observation which throws a wrench in the presumption of that of his statement is true. For example, the fact that deer live in the woods might throw a wrench in one of Billy's statements here. If you find this statement and present this observation to counter it, you should be home free. When you get a useful idea, I'll write it down for you in the idea slate. Appreciate it. You can now challenge your opponent's moves. Deal it in the woods. Add idea slate. Oh, alright. I'll go ahead and do that then, I guess. You need to be careful though, Dad. 
you say really stupid things, you'll lose credibility with your audience. Ah, I have credibility now. I can lose now. If you lose all your credibility, you will forfeit the argument. But wait, hold on. I'm just fact-checking a salesman. Who am I going to lose credibility with? Me. Fuck you. Oh. Your face is ugly. Added to the slate idea slate. <laughs> they eat our crops. Challenge. Um, probably at least this is a bit of a Deer most commonly found in large wood areas. Oh, well, never mind. Next. They steal our jobs. Challenge. Deer live in the woods. Nonsense. Nonsense. That's his objection. Deer live in the woods. They live in the woods. Dad, what are you doing? You making a point? They can't steal our jobs because they live in the woods. I mean, I guess. But I don't think them living in the woods is the root of the problem here. In fact, taking this approach implies that you accept that they could steal our jobs. Just because you can present a counterpoint doesn't mean that it's always the best angle to attack. You probably have something else to refute this, this particular idea. Steal our jobs. Question. Press for backing. Really? And how exactly do they do that? Well, uh... Well, you see... Uh... I'm sorry, Billy. Corporate sabotage? Corporate sabotage. Okay, they don't actually steal our jobs. It's just being dramatic. Statement removed. Every year they cause accidents and injuries. Question. Press for bagging. Do you have any evidence to support the deer cause injuries? Have you ever heard of the term deer in the headlights? Well, it turns out the term comes from real life deer. They stand in the middle of the road and just get hit. It causes all sorts of horrible crashes. It's quite terrible, believe me. Uh, okay, I buy it. Uh, well, the only reason you're safe is that I'm here with challenge. Deer live in the woods. Nonsense! Billy, can you tell me where deer most commonly reside? Uh, forests, mountains, and plains, I reckon, right? That sounds about right. And where are we now? New York City! Exactly. So then tell me, Billy. When was the last time you heard of a deer in New York City? Ah! Get on. It's highly unlikely that a deer will show up in any city, let alone in New York. Do you really think you can take credit for the fact that there are no deer around? But, but, yeah! You've wasted your life, Billy. Way to go, Dad. Well, maybe if you... Yeah, you're, you're a scam, Mots. Congratulations. Maybe if we weren't living in the wilderness, we would need your deer repellent. Maybe if we were, sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. But as we live in the middle of the city, I hardly see the point. I highly doubt Bambi's gonna wander down Main Street. He'd be hitting an instant. Clearly, your repellent is of no use. So I hardly think I need to buy. Nonsense. Now listen here, mister. It seems to me you're being unfair. I'll admit you have a point but you're failing to consider all the finer qualities of this here product. Is that so? Sure is. Let me explain to you what you're, you're all missing. Why my product is still useful to you. Presentation. Alright. Comes in a fine blue casing. I believe that. Each leather label is hand-painted. That's just dumb. My grandmother toiled over the design. Well, that's sweet of her. Clearly my product would still be useful to you. I don't think I have any evidence to counter these points. You know, even if a point is supported, it may not be related to the conclusion. If that's the case, it really doesn't matter if it's supported or not. The point is, uh, has no place in being pre uh, presented in the discussion. I think I get it. You're saying in such situations, I should question the relevance of the statement. Well, that's what John Stuart Mill would do. It's, not, for, it's, it's uh, not useful for us to listen to the statements that have no connection to the overall argument. If we, if we are discussion economics, for example, it really doesn't matter how well you support the fact that purple is the best color. Of course not. We all know green is anyway. Getting back on track. Awesome. Even if the statement is relevant, questions can be a great way to see how everything fits together. Alright, I guess I'll go forward with the questioning him then. Question relevance, move added. My pro comes to a fine blue casing. Question! Question relevance. How is this related to your conclusion? Blue is pretty, partner. Go on. Therefore, the, the fact that my product is pretty makes it more useful? I don't think so. Statement removed. Each leather label is hand pointed. Painted. Question relevance. How is this related to your conclusion? Art is craftsmanship. And things being done by a machine? That's no craftsmanship. Okay, great. But how does this craftsmanship make your product more useful? <laughs> okay, fine. You made your point. Let's move on. Statement removed. My grandmother is always designed. Press for backing. Can you back this up? She told me she did. You'd question the honesty of an old lady? Uh, maybe. I wouldn't have a partner. Question. 
question relevance. How is this related to your conclusion? Quality takes effort, partner. Surely the amount of time my grandmother poured into it contributes to its value. Mm, not really. Ugh, heartless, just heartless. No respect for the elderly. Well, that very well. Have it your way, partner. Statement removed. Billy! Ah, don't hurt me. Oh, the yelling is too much for my heart to bear. Relax, I'm not going to hurt you. Just your sales pitch. Oh, okay, that's good. Wait, no, actually, I don't think I like that. Well, I'm afraid there's no way, no way of avoiding it. Well, no avoiding it. Billy, you're trying to sell me a product based on its usefulness to me. But its aesthetic qualities and methods of manufacturing, while nice, offer no function which benefits me. At this point, you're grasping at straws to convince me to buy your product. And you know it. I'll tell you right now, uh, a real salesperson would just not let you speak. Like, he wouldn't let you make counter-arguments at all. If, if you're making counter-arguments, he's already failed at his job. Well, okay then, huh? It's been nice chatting with you, but I've got clients to find. There are many fish in the sea, and it's clear you ain't one of mine. Oh, okay. Bye. Well, that was fun. Fun? I think you mean infuriating. How much time do you have left before school? Relax, Dad. I'm sure I'm fine. We still have... Oh, um... <laughs> Negative half an hour. What? We gotta get going. What are you flipping out about, Tetris? Can't believe we lost track of time. It's all that fool Billy's fault. Billy and his idiotic deer repellent. Agreed. Now we're gonna be late for school. You'll probably be expelled. Your mother will never forgive me. No, no, she talks to me anymore anyway. I'm pretty sure she won't be expelled. I'm not sure I was ever on time at high school. The best, of, the best of its kind, ha! But it's not not competing with anything. I mean, what would it compete with? Harry's dear vanisher? Dad, honestly, people uh, honestly people believe that they can sell you anything these days. Wasting our time, the nerve. They think we're a bunch of fools. Dad, and we can can be just convinced we should buy a stupid product we'll never ever need. I mean, aesthetic qualities. I asked you. <laughs> Get owned. Alright guys, I'm actually going to call it there. Uh, that's That was there, the prologue, I'm going to call it there. Uh, so, let me know if you enjoyed watching that. I enjoyed playing it. If you want to see some more uh, Socrates Jones, Pro Philosopher, aka Reskinning Phoenix Wright, um, let me know, or give us a comment, or just watch the video. That will let me know that you were watching it, I guess. Whatever. Anyway, point is, I enjoyed this game. Uh, and I hope you guys did too, and I'll see you all soon. Laters!